When I started working in Bitcoin, I believed that we would see maybe one, two, three, four, five different currencies that could succeed in different ways, and that they would have to fight each other for dominance. Um, and I was wrong because I was looking at Bitcoin from the perspective of experience with national currencies, and that's how national currencies behave. Uh, they're in a zero-sum game. Once I saw that more altcoins were being created and they acted as a laboratory, I realized the connections between money and language, and why, just like there are hundreds of thousands of human languages, there will be hundreds of thousands of alternative currencies and chains, and then perhaps millions. And they will continue to be created at a rate of thousands per year, and then tens of thousands per year. And maybe most of them will not have very significant economic value. Maybe some of them will only have um, the value of reputation, or loyalty, or popularity, or historical significance. Or they'll explore a single narrow feature or capability. There will be thousands, and they will all have value to someone. Because even five-year-olds create currencies. If you watch a kindergarten, they create currencies out of rubber bands and colored blocks and crayons. They trade tokens of value with each other to express popularity and friendship. So human beings create currencies. It's a natural process. It's an evolutionary imperative. So we will create thousands of them, and they may not have the same interest or value, but they will be powerful. You know, I say sometimes people think it's funny, but imagine what happens when you have Justin Bieber coin. Now, for one thing, that's a horrifying idea, Justin Bieber coin. But at the same time, if that was created today, it would very quickly have more value than at least 15 national currencies. <laughs> Easily. Right? And so, is that money? It is to a Justin Bieber fan. It's meaningful, it's valuable, it's exchangeable. It creates loyalty and social connection. We are redefining how we see money, from a field of narrow perspective and monopolies, to an explosion of diversity that will flood our brains with thousands of currencies. And hopefully one day it will be so easy to use any of them, that it will become irrelevant which currency you use, and currency will simply disappear into the background.